Hi guys, today let's talk about how to run your Playwright tests on uh, Selenium Grid. So <clears throat> just a few words about Selenium Grid. It's a tool written in Java that allows you uh, to run your tests in parallel across uh, multiple machines. Uh, usually it's being used when you want to run your test not locally. Um, you will be running them locally only during your development. But overall, they will be running by schedule on uh, some uh, CI/CD tool or server like uh, Jenkins, GitLab CI or whatever. And in this case, uh, those tests will be executed uh, or should be executed somewhere in the cloud remotely. So that's why you might need uh, or consider <coughs> using Selenium Grid for that. So uh, overall, it looks like that. So there is a separate process running on some uh, server. Uh, you from the command line telling uh, your test to run, to be executed on some uh, Selenium grid hub. So all the commands go to grid. And then after that, uh, Selenium hub distributes uh, your test execution among uh, different amount of nodes. So this video is not about how to set up uh, Selenium grid overall but uh, just about how to execute your how to have an ability to run your playwright tests in it so playwright test usually written in uh, js in javascript so uh, for the purpose of this video i'm going to bring up and running my uh, local selenium grid on my machine so for that you might go to Real github.com selenium hq selenium releases go to the latest version so current one is selenium grid 4 uh, and you will download this jar file for me it's already downloaded here now i'm going to run it using this command Yeah, and you must go to this uh, folder that you downloaded it in. In my case, it's folder git. And now I'm running in terminal this command. <coughs> you see some lines going through. It means it's up and running. You can check that in a browser. Uh, so by default, it will be running on port 444 on your local host. You can refresh it. We can see that Selenium Grid is up and running there is one node uh, it has some browsers detected few th words about this command so uh, this one this flag is used so basically you can run everything just like that this is the minimal combination of the command but uh, you really need to pass few more because if I didn't pass that one it hasn't seen any browsers available and uh, for me the main issue that when I was running my tests they were timing out uh, after three minutes so the whole test set was timing out and it was just basically get stuck on selenium grid without giving any good explanation or error message so I struggled with it a lot uh, so it's better to pass this uh, flex especially this one session timeout with some large value but i would recommend uh, use uh, four flex selenium manager true session timeout the six nines session request amount with six nines and uh, max sessions if you want to limit uh, concurrency or amount of browsers used by default it uses 10 by the way so then grid is up and running basically uh, you don't have to do anything else in uh, on the playwright side so here is a just basic example of demo tests from uh, newly created playwright 
project and all you need to do is just to add this prefix uh, before your regular command and here will, <coughs> selenium remote url it can be domain based uh, like in this case or ip based just for localhost it will say just localhost 444 so let's uh, first run without using selenium grid So you see this is Chromium, it's not uh, Chrome, it means that Playwright right now running tests using its own browser. And what happens if we will run with the whole command? So first of all it's Chrome opened right now, and if we go to grid you see sessions 2 occupied. So it means that tests are running on the grid itself, not using uh, internal playwright browser. And it's also passed. So basically that's it for, for this video. Uh, the main purpose was to give you a heads up about using this flex. It can save you a lot of uh, troubleshooting. See you in the next one.